Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Ashley Kay. Today I wanted to show you all of the things that I got for my birthday. Now these are things that I bought for myself with uh, my money for my birthday because I think that it's important to celebrate yourself and so I just kind of wanted to show what I got. The very first thing that I want to show are some red bubble stickers. So I already stuck two down. This one is for my February journal. It is completely blank right now. <laughs> it is February 19th that I am filming this. I hope to get caught up in the next couple days. Um, but this is one of the stickers that I bought. I really fell in love with this sticker with the heart and the florals. And so that was one of the first ones I picked out. Um, another one is the one that I put on the front of my reading journal. I got this in a size medium and then I decided to cut the white um, border, I guess, out uh, to just kind of make it pop on my reading journal a little bit better. And then the rest I got, I will just kind of show you. These are all the size small and they're a lot bigger than I had thought. Like this one is like three or maybe three and a half inches long. And so I just really thought that these were cute. I love this Sun Sphere from Knoxville. Uh, the Snail with Books. And then this one says, Your Now is Not Your Forever. And this is from Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. It's a, a quote from that. This one is of a potato and it says boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So that's from obviously the Lord of the Rings. Well, maybe not obviously, but that's from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is another quote, I think from Turtles All the Way Down also. And it says you're both the fire and the water that extinguishes it. You're the narrator, the protagonist, and the sidekick. You're the storyteller and the story told. You're somebody something, but you are also your you. And I'm just a really big fan of the Green Brothers, so. Um, and then the last two I got were this one that says, let kids read what they want. And then this is a sticker um, from Amy Brown. I don't know if any of you were Hot Topic kids back in, like, the early 2000s. But Amy Brown is an artist, and a lot of her work looks like this and was sold at Hot Topics. So that's from Redbubble. And then the next two I got from Etsy's. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this pink. And these are some watercolors I got from a new, um, new to me Etsy store. So it is from uh, Courtney Paints. That's a little silica do not eat pack. And I got three colors. I got this one, which is um, ooh, Harmarine Red. This is Peony. This is Agave. And then a, a dot sample from Dioxane Violet. And so those were from Courtney Paints. And then a little sticky from her Etsy store that will probably go in my journal. So that's the second thing. I actually bought these. My original plan for my birthday was to make like a, like a birthday advent calendar that had like some chocolates and then some things like this. And I would just open one every day. But then... Uh, when my family got sick in January, that kind of fell by the wayside because we did not have energy for any of that. And then this Etsy store is Krish and Bo. So this is a freebie I got, I think, for spending a certain amount. And so most of these, so most of these are stickers. Um, here is their information. If you would like to go look at them on Facebook or Instagram. And then, let's see, all of these, yes. Okay, 
So all of these are just singles or kits that I bought. Like I believe these ones were a kit. And so I really liked all of those little moths. Those are so cute. And then days of the week and some flags. So those will be fun to use. Uh, this was a standalone. I just really liked the little arrows. I thought those would be different. Let's see. Is this a three? No, this is a t another two sticker week. It's got a big banner, some plants, and then days of the week and some more plants. This is just a sheet of days of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's enough to go through a month, which I'm excited to use. This last one I got is a bag of misfits. And so these are things that are kind of B grade, um, that didn't meet the quality standards that she wanted. So it was like a mystery pack. And in this came these cute bumblebees, these dots, more plants. I can never have enough plants. Some of my favorites. Um, and then these are just some banners. Strawberries. And some birds. This was really what I wanted from this store. And it is a another sticker book. Like the one I have. Except this one you just pull from the top. Because these stickers that are like printed and kind of papery that I usually get from Etsy stores don't don't stick well to the inside of this one. So this is one that I have previously and I stuck, it's repositionable and I just stuck in stickers and I can take them off whenever. Um, it works better when the stickers themselves are kind of plasticky and when they're papery they don't stick as well, I found. So I got this little guy that I can just stick in because I have from other Etsy shops some stickers so that's one of them um, my little suit sprites and so I thought this would be really great and I can just fill it up and go and look through uh, you can get two sizes of this I think I got the smaller of the two sizes which is okay I don't need a whole lot I think because I don't buy these types of stickers very often. Um, but yeah, I'll put those in later. And that is just my quick little haul that I did for my birthday for myself from Redbubble and Etsy. And I hope that you found this interesting. I do like to see what's out there. I will definitely link the two Etsy shops and then I'll see if I can list the individual stickers. Um, if I don't have them linked and you were really wanting a particular one, if you really liked, just let me know which one that you're really interested in and I'll see if I can get the link from my red bubble. And that's going to be it for me. I know this was super short and kind of to the point, but I didn't want to drag it out too long. I hope that you found some joy. I am going to now kind of pull out my February journal and do a little bit of journaling. And I will try and record that and put it up in a another video to come soon. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know down below. Let me know if there's anything you want specifically linked from these and I hope to journal with you again very soon. Bye.